I will now demonstrate how to create a data synchronization task using the upsert operation, mapping my source primary key field to the Salesforce external ID field. Okay, so now I'm going to create a new data synchronization task to upsert uh, data from an external account to Salesforce. So under Task Wizards, again, to uh, data synchronization, and then we'll click New get that six-step wizard again. Okay, so this time I'm going to select the upsert operation. And for my source, this time I will select a flat file that includes a unique ID for every row. So you can see here the first column is account ID, so that would be my primary key from my external source. And now for my target, I will select again the Salesforce account object. And here you can see the data that I've already loaded. I'll skip over filters again. And so when I get to the field mapping step, I just want to point out straight away that you'll notice there is a field in my source called account ID and a field in my target called account ID. But note that this account ID has the gold key. So, and if I hover over it, uh, primary key pops up. So this would be for Salesforce, the primary key that is generated by Salesforce. So if I map this, uh, my source account ID to my Salesforce account ID, I will get errors for every row and the task will fail. So I'm going to uh, instead map that to my external ID field and I can see that is indicated by a white key in a gold box. And I'll map the rest of my fields here. And I'll validate my mapping and save and run my task. Alright, you can see my task completed successfully here. So if we go back over to Salesforce to our accounts tab and I have a view created here called Instructor Account View where I've added the external ID and you can see that 11 records were uh, indeed upserted with external ID.